Hello. Oh my goodness. So tonight we are doing some some kind of cool stuff. We're doing a little bit of a little bit of gnome right now. I'm trying to get this rig sort of in a good place, decent place. Um and then I'm gonna switch to the human. I'm gonna do a bit of animating on that. So it should be fun, should be frustrating, maybe, possibly, most likely, but we'll see. Okay. Add a little bit of red. A little bit of red, a little bit of red here. Mm -hmm. Let's go with that. Painting the, the weights on this guy. So it tells, um, it's kind of assigning the, parts to the bones so when it move when the bone moves the mesh knows what's supposed to move and what's not supposed to move oh so you definitely don't want um bits assigned to the wrong bits because that'll cause some goofy results Woeful inept, thank you. Thank you for following. I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, I'm, I guess I should probably move this and see how it looks right now. It's kind of fun to just paint the colors in and such as well. I know based on the some of the stuff we've done on the other models that some spots need some particular um, stuff set up. Okay, let's go to pose mode. Ooh. Um, does this have the animations already? This is going to look bad, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's just not with that. Just gonna delete all of these real quick. Hey, Pattis. How's it going? Pattis. Um, can I, should I have these? Let's turn that on. So I want to see that. I got my, um, some of my stuff sorted. Um, I need to come up with some icons and emojis and stuff now though. I'm good. I'm good. What the run? I thought I deleted all this stuff. What is all this? Get out of here. Okay. Who's clear? Okay. Oh, shit. Well, right off the bat, you can see that um, something's broke. <laughs> oh, no. I need to come up with more new ones. Some of mine were just quick. I 
I need something ideas. Yeah. Uh, I had like one or two I need something ideas. Um, but I didn't actually make any of them, so you're already one step ahead of me. Okay, so let's see. This stuff is, is this not parented? So everything needs to be parented underneath. Keep offset. Um, what else do I need to parent here? Uh, maybe the hands, maybe not. What's this? Probably that. I don't know. I guess I'll just, let's just try and animate something real quick and let's see. So. <laughs> uh, oh no. Uh, Xenomorph chest burst. <laughs> yeah. Someone, someone clipped that already. The internet is, uh, is a thing. Ah, okay. So let's see. Um, I'm pretending that this is like a, a run. He's like running or something. So. Let's just do. Make it chunkier. Uh, make it chunkier. Can't. I can't. It's physically impossible to make the animation chunkier. So. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Uh, everything's looking fairly okay, though, so far with the speed. Like, uh, it's running faster than his head can, his body can hold his head. Okay, so here, there's something going on with the butt here. I probably need to, to mess with there. Uh, actually, this isn't too bad, though. What I really should do is do a sit. Um, I'm just going to copy this real quick as well, though. Copy. Paste. Paste, paste, paste. It's half a 24. Hmm. 12. Okay, let's just do. Um, this would be, I guess, the. Oh, shit, I don't want to. Reverse, right? Ah, uh, yes. I think we got it, guys. I just, I've completed the, it looks really slow actually, for some reason. Why does it look like it's going slow? But I mean, that's how gnomes are, I guess like if you speed it up, let's do like real fast. And go. Custom, we can do custom. Um, 
900. You can't even go that fast. Oh well. Ready to ship? Yep. Yeah. How's it going, Whitechapel? Whitechapel knows what's up, man. But I actually, what I should probably do is like some. I need to do like the. in between bits here right Ready to ship. Yeah, there we go. And then when he does this, he's going to come down, right? This this run, by the way, is going to be like... It's also why he looks weird, because he should be coming down. Um, but yeah, sorry. Um, what I meant to say was this is just kind of a silly animation here. Um, I'm not really going to use most likely. It's kind of like a, a rig test. Unless it's really good and everyone loves it and then we'll do it, but... Sean, oh what the heck? Sorry, I I changed the um the Sean to uh I ch I switched everything over to the the points. He's still Make there. It chunkier. He's still there. You just got to spend money now. Give me all your money. And I added um how many did I add? I I added two more cool ones. And I, I can't wait. And I might actually just do it myself because it's so much fun. Uh, let's see. Adjective beaver? Adjective? Adjective? <laughs> Am I saying it right? Sorry, I'm... I, I can't speak. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Nick has hosted me. Thank you, Nick. Subscribed with Prime. Holy shit, dude. Thanks, man. That's cool. You're my first subscriber. <laughs> Thank Bezos. <laughs> I will. I pressed the, the damn button. Okay, so he's going down on this one. So I'm going to go up on that one for these, maybe. Do I want to do that? Copy. 
No, that's not what I wanted to do. Which one is the... There we go. It's, that's up. So then I wanted to do... Copy this. Paste that. I don't know. Uh, this is kind of a placeholder anyway. <laughs> I pressed the button. I pressed the button. You guys are making fun of me in Discord. Uh... Okay. Um, those arms, the shoulders are looking kind of janky already. So I wonder if I can do something about that. And then we need to fix this butt too. Oh. So let's turn that off. Let's go into uh, weight paint mode. Let's grab, oh, I've got this, uh, this pelvic bone here that I can use for pro change here. I wonder if that will help. This gonna okay, it's mirroring. Cool. Um, yeah. So, like with the a lot of the other ones, a lot of the other characters so far, we didn't have like a at least the human and the ogre. I think the ogre might have one now, or maybe the human does, but we didn't have a bone for the pelvis necessarily, and. When we were trying to do the sits and stuff, it was looking a bit weird. So. Open to kind of even it out here. Ah, oh, yes, that gnome booty. Let's get this why you guys come, right? To see the... This, this sort of stuff. I mean, I know that's why Pattis is here, but I mean, the rest of you guys. I don't want to speak for anyone. Um, so anyway, uh, if, for any of those, any of you guys who kind of rolled in a little bit after, I s sort of stated my intentions for this stream. Uh, right now we are, I am doing a little bit of rigging on the gnome, our gnome model that is new. Um, it's kind of what, you know, this is what he looks like, uh, without his clothes on. Um... And then I'm hoping to kind of get this to a decent point and then I'm going to actually switch to the human and I'm going to do some actual rigging for that. Uh, I'm not really going to do too much animation on this one, I think. Um, just going to let Goblin kind of do some stuff there and he's probably going to redo this, this run anyway. Um, For now, this is what we got. Pelvis, why? Why is you up here, pelvis? Let's let's not do that. Um, 
let's undo that now. Let's add that back in. Actually, maybe I will add this back in. If that, if this is gonna, are we getting some weirdness on the belt line there? I don't. So this right here. Um. Uh, it's cool to be a founding sub on an art crew stream. Sadly, I'm not one of Sean's stream. Oh, that's, that's, um, I'm, I'm glad to have you, Nick. That's, um, I don't, how long have you been watching, um, Sean, by the way? I guess not, not enough, not long enough to get the founding thing, um. So we have some, if you look at the belt line here, particularly like right here and right here, this one actually is the worst of it on both sides. Um, let's get rid of that one actually. Uh, there's some movement on the belt line, which I, I want to get rid of. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and add, let's go to the, where it's stretching the most. And then I'm going to add some bits there for that. But not a whole lot. Just kind of hoping it will like hold it there. Maybe, maybe I'll even remove some from yeah, there we go. Move some from the leg. Leg's got a lot of influence already. Probably doesn't need that much. I think it was July 2020. I I didn't even honestly I did I wasn't watching Sean's streams until um like I saw that the you guys doing what you had done with the Monsters and Memories. Um so I'd seen the YouTube channel, the, the YouTube interviews with the EQ devs and stuff. But I didn't really catch the streams uh, until after that point. Okay, see, there you go. That, that fixed it. Um, not so much for the butt, but I think that's fine. I was more concerned about um, this one up top here. And that looks better, so can move on to what else we what else may need to be we need to go into these shoulders here these are um a little messed up but i think there's also um only so much i can do i think with this stuff um because it's part of it is just the way that, what the fuck was that? Uh, what? I don't know what I just did to the thing, but it's fine, I guess. Anyway, um, it's the way, the way the topology is twisting. Um, I can't really, like without like redoing the geometry and stuff. I used to come into his stream and just ask him questions about what kind of decisions he he'd make when he's making a new EQ style game. And now here we are. Nice. So it was it was really you. You're the founder, the secret founder. I knew it. Sean is just a, a figurehead. You're the, the real genius behind the scenes. 
Okay, what can we do about this, I wonder? What do I want to do? Because I don't want to, like... I think it's... It's okay. Maybe I'm wondering if I should actually add some more edges just to that top bit there or something, because I don't know what else I can really do to... Make that okay. I don't know. Um. Well, anyway, let's, I'll leave that for now, I guess. That's a little bit better. Um, and I guess when, when he starts doing some weird stuff with his arms and, and things, we'll have to revisit that, I think. We need to fix this, I think. Also, a little... Little weird diaper y movement thing there. And his whole pelvis area kind of implodes on him. I think some of this stuff I can I can fix later on as well. Uh, maybe I'll just hand it off to the goblin, uh, and then do some more weight painting later as well. Bones are in the way, bro. Where is you? Report display in front. Get out of here. And now I can't see where it is, though. Ha! Uh, joke's on me. I fucked up. Okay, what happens if we just add some stuff here? Some painties. And do I want this to be all the way over there? That's that's a lot. This pelvis is way influencing a lot here. We don't need it to be doing this much stuff. I don't know if I want it. Do I want it to be doing that? Let's let's leave it for now. Maybe, maybe what I really need is a, a Nick, um, art director, or like a, a little Nick that pops up and just like tells me to do things like, like burn down your house or, you know, like s steal some candy bars or some weird shit, you know? That's what I need. Like a, a little, I could, I could like, yeah. So then I'd have like a, um, an angel art director and a devil uh, game designer on my shoulders. That'd be, that'd be fun. Maybe I'll do that later. Um, and probably what I'm going to want to do on this actually is take some of the influence off of the leg as well. That's really why it's doing that, I think. I need to get some um, kind of bossy. Yeah, you, you're lucky that you don't stream too much right now because I don't, I don't, I don't have any um, voice clips or anything. I have to just have it be like a dialogue pop up or something, just like a speech bubble. Burn the village down. Come on, do it. Are you sure, Nick? I don't know about this, man.
Nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to you getting back onto streaming and um, I want to get, I want to see Ollie stream again as well and just get everyone going again. Ollie's out of town for the next like two days, I think. I thought he was coming back. He like he said he was in um Dubai, and I thought he was going to be back like what last Wednesday. So I don't know if that is he's out for a different thing or it just went longer. But. Yeah. He's, um, that's, that's crazy. I didn't even know he was still out of town because he was still responding to me and, um, Slack and stuff, so. Okay, let's pull that back. We're on this. Probably don't need that much influence on the a bit there, and maybe not so much there either. Uh, let's just pull this whole thing back, actually. How's that look? That is an improvement. I think he's like, part of the problem is just either where I placed the bone, the pivot of the bone, or his just man junk is so puffy. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to live with that for a while and see. We'll change it. Um, as we see fit. Okay, so let's say that's good. Um, let's go back to object mode. Let us select this. And I want to do the sit as well, just so I can just check kind of the situation with the butt. Delete keyframes. I think he leaves tonight. Nice. Um, let's see what do we got here. All right. So before I do this, I just wanted to, um, I can't, I cannot contain myself with this. So one of the, um, one of the new things I added, since this is actually the highest tier, one, highest costing one right now, it might be a while before you guys can actually use it yourself. So, and I really wanted to, I really wanted to do this because I, this is when I, when I did it, um, it, it was hilarious. So here we go. Okay. This is one of the channel reward points. This is the illusion skeleton. Um, okay. Let's just redeem that real quick. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Oh my goodness, I am now a skeleton. This is unbelievable. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, what has happened? 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's so great. Uh, I love this so much. The the only thing that it's missing is the um, I wanted to try and get the spell effect bubbles. The um, uh, what do you call it? The particle, the sprite sparkles, and I don't. My, my like lantern viewer thing is all jacked up, so I couldn't dig into those for those. Um, I don't know if you have those laying around, Nick. Uh, but yeah, I need, I need to get that so I can add that in. Um, I'm also gonna do a wolf form one later on at some point, which will be fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have uh, perfect. Launched by Aon. You need the cackle. Yeah, actually, good point. I would I would attempt to do it myself, but let's let's just not embarrass ourselves in front of everybody. Like do a shrink skeleton. Yeah, it actually what's crazy about this is it um it they both stack on top of each other like that. Yeah, dude. And now, oh my god! Yeah, my stream is more classic than. It's more a fully flesh, fleshed out game here on stream. Um, what am I doing here? What am I doing? What am I doing? I am clearing transportation, transpose things. And now that you're shrunk, better toss on the chipmunk voice filter. You know what, dude? I I have a voice modulator thing or majigger built into my my thing. I don't. I haven't messed with it too much, so I don't know which one is which. Um, I thought about that actually. If I, if I did like the shrink, I would like have it change the voice too, but. Um, I'd have to do it manually and I was probably going to forget to do that or turn it on or off. And so I was like, eh, 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 so, but definitely, um, definitely cool that I was able to do that. And I'm definitely going to play with that more for sure. When I come up with some more ideas and such. And I, I set them to like, because I love the skeleton thing so much, I set it to last for like 10 minutes. Uh, so. All this is fun stuff. You aren't going to get a whole lot of work done. Yeah. <laughs> I probably am less productive on stream, but it's more fun. Um, Did you use Snapchat stuff? No, this is... um. This is all actually using, um, I'm using StreamerBot to control my OBS and it's just like turning filters on and off. I have, I built a, um, I'll, I, I can like show you later if you, if you want, dude. Um, I, I built like a, like a, a scene or like, yeah, like a source basically for the skeleton and then when it's activated it, it turns off my regular camera and turns on the skeleton um just kind of replacing it it's cool dude it's cool have you seen level up larry's channel point stuff he has uh some great eq point rewards and other assets i did see um i did see some of his streams i didn't know I didn't know if those were point rewards or whatnot. I guess that makes more sense now that you, you mentioned that. Um, that's probably where I got the idea, honestly. Um, I was messing with that, like watch, watching him. Um, he had like something where he turned into an, an XR or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Yeah, the, I you know, I, I messed with the snap chat filter thing um but honestly it's it's kind of a i didn't i don't really like it too much because 
Well, at least like getting it integrated into OBS and stuff and having it like swap. Um, it was a whole thing. Um, it's, it's totally doable, but it, I just didn't want to mess with it. This, this is more fun for me anyway. Okay, it turns into one of the XR emperors with a voice modulator. Nice. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to take a look at his thing again, his videos again and see, um, what else he does. I definitely, I, I did see some of that, like some of that cutscene stuff or something, whatever he did. Those were fantastic. I, I, I uh, like, I'm probably, I, I kind of just did this, took a screenshot of a skeleton and kind of quickly cut him up like earlier today. Um, so if I spent more time on it, I, I'm sure I could make something nicer maybe, but yeah, maybe not as good as level up Larry's. This stuff is top notch. He also has like 8-bit EQ music and pixel art for some of his stream screens. Yeah. Yeah, see like he's that's on a, he's on a different level. Like I can make some fun stuff um to have fun with, but I think he's he's like way better at the actual production value stuff. Okay, what what was I doing here? I'm I'm doing a sit. Let's let's have him sit. I don't know. He's definitely not going to work with a an Indian style as we've learned today. But actually that, oh, that looks not great. Okay, so that's what we need to sort out. Let's, how, how are we gonna make him sit, guys? Maybe part of the problem is the, oh man. Oh no, his little croissant roll legs. Oh no. It's like a little French gnome who's had a terrible baking accident. Didn't make these controls very noticeable, I guess. I don't know how to make them a different color or something, but I don't know. Ooh. Let's see how this looks. That's not too bad. Um, his his ass is messed up though. Let's try and fix that. And actually, you know what I need to do as well. What what I find is helpful when I'm doing this um the the sit in particular, but just weight painting in general. Um to have it moving so I can see it. So if we do this, now we have um actually let's move this. Let's move these. So I can play it. He's like a transformer now. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Okay. Uh, let's go back to object mode. Let's select the rig, then select the body. We'll go to weight paint mode. And we can kind of observe his nether area. Let's add some stuff. What happens if we just add some stuff? Some of this is not going to be able to be just 
painted out, I think, because again, it comes down to the topology we have and how it's rotating because his arms or not his arms, his legs so wide apart. Um, probably be better to actually actually, you know, that's it isn't too terrible. I think one thing that's like really weirding me out is um, I think maybe the, another reason why actually his front he's got like a front butt is maybe I need to add um, I need to add more to this have it uh, deform way more or something let's just try that real quick Oh lord, no. That was a bad idea. Why did you let me do that, Pattis? Or Nick? Come on. None of you guys. Coming in with the art director helping me out. Get no support up in here. Ridiculous. Too shiny. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. That, that, that's where I went wrong. This is, this is why we're, we're here. Um, yikes. I just don't know if this is going to work with this. Um, mm Hmm. Maybe I need to do the, the topology of it differently. But of course, like, it's just kind of the sit. Um, I don't, we don't need it to, probably don't want to have it. I mean, I can just have them sit differently, I guess, is my point. Um. Pose mode. Let's try something else. Spread eagle. Hmm. Oh, you know what I can do? <laughs> it's like so, what is going on here? This is, this is why I rate this stream as not appropriate for children. Right here. Uh... Oh man. This is oh. Oh my goodness. I feel I feel gross. I feel I need to close these legs. Let's just hmm have some respect.
It seems to be a common trend. Lots of inappropriate poses to ogre casting. And um, yeah, dude, we should just like lean into it. Like, fuck it, we're making an X rated game. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't like how the. I don't like what's going on here, though. This is not great. Oh, yeah. Drinking that sun, little guy. Well, these shoulders aren't too terrible though when it's doing all that twisting and shit. And that's the one plus, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. Hey, most maybe I should like go look at the. Hey, BDC Retro, how's it going? Sorry if I missed it. I take it you'll be doing different sitting pose for each race. Yeah, I think it's going to be a necess necessity because uh, there's no way in heck that the gnome or the ogre is going to be able to do the Indian style, as we've called it. Um, just the way their their bodies are built, it's it's gonna it doesn't look right. So I'm just kind of like placing them in what looks sort of natural right now, or at least this guy. Um, and then we'll go from there. Let's see if we can smooth stuff out though. I'm not really, really, really doing the animations right now anyway. This is kind of like I'm still weight painting stuff. Kinda kinda thing. I just need to pose it um so I can see how stuff moves. Uh let's subtract. Um, yeah, uh, it's, does that answer your question, BDC Retro? Sorry if I'm slightly distracted. Hey Goblin. Oh, also, I found a really good way of weight painting that helps a lot. If you head into edit mode, you can assign weights based on the vertex group selected. Because I know you weight painting in Blender can be fussy sometimes. Also high. 
Hey, Gumlin. Yeah, um, that that is helpful when I'm being more precise and stuff, I guess. Um, or I'm like cleaning up. I did that earlier when I was um, assigning stuff to stuff. But I'm just trying to like, trying to figure out, let's just get rid of this. What are we on here? This is over the hip. Let's just do this. I don't know if I need all of that anyway. I'm just trying to like, Jesus. Uh, all right, guy with motorcycle. Um, I'm just trying to like get it to look okay with, I don't know, he's got like this front butt I'm trying to clean up, I don't really like, like the, the way the, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just need to push in that bit, I don't know, let's just do that and see. But just push in his little bits here. Well, It's not so bad, weight painting. Um, I wonder. It's definitely not like amazingly fun and everything, but it's, I don't know, it's interesting, kind of zen. It can be zen. Oh, there we go. That helps a lot, actually. Just kind of, I'm just hiding it basically with his knees. Mm hmm. That works for me. Let's just do this. Let's just, let's just go full. Yeah, that works, I guess. I just, this tum tum there. Yeah, there's, I think there's just gonna be some s movements and stuff that this guy can't really do very well. And uh, everyone's gonna have that limitation. Um, like all the non human models, I guess. Probably safe to say. What is this one? I want. Uh, okay, that's. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh, Pattis got some points. Where'd you get all those points, Pattis? What is this? He's buying some, some channel points on the black market or something. I did not... Uh, I did not tell him that he could have that many points. This is outrageous. This is outrageous, Pattis. I will... I will... Uh, ah! Ah! And so forth. And you maybe you need to make the, I don't know, the jaw moves a decent amount, I guess. I could, I could probably crank that up as well. Oh, no. 
I'm gonna have to make that stuff co cost more of you guys. It, it doesn't double shrink. I'm sad to say. I can, I, I'm sure I could like, in order to get it to do it more than once. Um, <laughs> yeah, it should be classic. It needs to be double. Um, that would be, it'd be cool if I could, um, I, I think I would need to dig into some code in order to get it to do stuff based on other variables and things like that. But that's beyond me for a, a, a fun joke. So I don't know. And I think I'm just going to leave this. Like, I don't know which I'm trying to figure out. First of all, what is going on here? Oh, it would help if I had the right thing selected, huh? Oh. Very funny. Very funny, Nick. It's making me disappear like that. Uh, okay, I'm trying to figure out which one this guy is. Um, and I'm, I'm just gonna go with, let's go with this one, I think. Let's try this. I think that was it, yeah. Double shrink was basically my ranger's default size. <laughs> you know, be you know, hey Nick, actually, um, you know, be really cool is if you could shrink like a bunch of times in a row, and like it like made you disappear, like you shrunk out of existence or something or like you shrunk so much that like it you be you went into like the what was that that space that um ant man went into when he went super small um i forget what it was called it was like the quant the quantum quantum realm or something you should yeah yeah quantum realm um, you should, you should make it so that when you, if you shrink like a, a certain number of times, you get so small that like it teleports you to like a, a quantum realm or something. Of course, then you'd have to figure out how to get them back. And that might be a whole thing, but I don't know. Can it make you smaller or is there a limit? Yeah, there's, there's only the one shrink. And what really sucks is like. When you cast it again, it doesn't like refresh the timer at all. And that was another thing um, that if I knew how to code, I would I would make it so that you could at least refresh it or something. But uh, okay, I feel like I don't know. Unless maybe I can mess with this little spot here. But I might just say it's it's okay for now, and I'll I'll move on. So I'm gonna have to. I'm no doubt I'm gonna have to. Um. I'm gonna have to kind of come back to this model. I'm sure. Anyway, so um, I'm going to save this and I'm going to, I'll send it over. I'll put it on the drive for you, Goblin, and you can start messing with it. Um, and you can junk 
any of the I, I made like two kind of animations just for tet like I made the sit and um I made a silly run. None of the none of the other animations are gonna work. They're gonna have to basically redo them all anyway. And that's what you were gonna do, I'm sure. But I did this run. So this is the the gnome run right now, and you, you can uh, do whatever you want to it. I'm just doing something more so to kind of see how the weights were doing. I don't. I guess that's kind of reasonable, a reasonable amount of distortion. And maybe there should be even more on the the groin, honestly. Um, but anyway. Um, do I have texture shader? I do. Look at that. Hmm. The guard is off to do his, his due diligence as a guard of night or night harbor. So. All right, so I'm gonna send that over to you. Uh, let's put this back on. Bloop. Save. Oh, hey, by the way, before I before I do that, um, I'll show you real quick what I was telling you about. Um, so if we do this, um, if you go in pose mode, if you go to Pose motion paths and calculate. Oh shit, this is a different thing. Hmm. Actually, I downloaded um, this add on, which I can also send to you. It's like a one click thing and it, it does it. Um, and I, I think I have to go to the end as well and click it again. Yeah. So yeah, you I have to you click it at the beginning and you click it at the end and I select all the keyframes. I think you need to do that as well. I'm not sure, but um, you have to have the bone selected at least, of course. Um, and then it, it creates that you know the little motion path or whatever you can kind of see. And you'd want you'd want to keep stuff in like smooth shapes basically. Uh, for the the ogre, I. I did either like circles or like figure eights. Um, Cause like if, it, if it's got any weird sharp edges and stuff or whatever, you, that's probably where you're gonna get some popping and stuff. So, uh, and then you, if you wanna clear it, you can go to, where can you go to clear that? Motion pass, clear. Yeah, anyway, you'll figure it out. Uh, Save that again, and then close. Um, and I'll throw that up real quick. Actually, let me. I'll open my other thing. Uh, I actually um also let's do while I have this open. I was fitting I was screwing around with um we're talking about kind of making the human look a little bit more beefy or stronger looking or something. And um I you know, I was looking at the World of War or not World of Warcraft? Man, fuck that. Um, the EverQuest human, and you know I did that side by side that you guys saw, um, which I can't pull up right now because I'm trying to update this thing. Uh, one sec. Sorry. So we have this. This is kind of where um, 
this is where our dude is in game right now. And I did like a kind of a comparison, see kind of what we're missing or what what this one look the EverQuest one looked like and kind of why this one looks like our one looks different and stuff. Part of it is, you know, the camera um being a little bit farther back and it's actually higher up. Um the the EverQuest camera is like kind of it's center it really centers the player character. Um which Honestly, like I find a little bit annoying sometimes. Um, I think that's why I gravitated towards um, playing smaller characters. Well, I had such a hard time with the ogre in particular because, like, my character was just always in the way. Um, I think World of Warcraft's camera was pretty good, though. Um, maybe have to do a comparison with that. Um, but in terms of the model, it's pretty clear that the human proportions are pretty different um the legs are way longer and the torso is much smaller by comparison and it's pretty slim he's got like a you know kind of a triangular torso um so i kind of just tried to take a crack at that um let me throw on his underwear and it's, I made it the legs longer and I kind of brought in the torso a bit and I think I shrunk it slightly. It looks, it doesn't look shrunk though. Um, but I don't know how I feel about this. Like I think making the legs longer is definitely a good call, but these legs in particular to me look kind of bland for some reason. Um, I don't know. Um, but, and I, I added some more like topology for certain things in the butt. And I kind of did the arms a little bit differently. So I didn't, I don't really like how there's like a really hard sh shape here. Cankles. Dro Drodak nose might need a bit more curviness to him yeah i think that's what what it is like what the problem um i i kind of i tend to make the when i'm sculpting stuff i have a tendency to make the um really narrow the ankles and stuff like that but the problem is um I think there's, there's a lot of feedback on um, at least I, I remember you know there's always the make it chonkier comments um, but there's also like when he's wearing armor you know he's gonna look different as well so it's kind of that weird balance as in less boxy Boxy boxy. Curry looks better. Yeah, I mean I like that. Um But like then I was throwing on the the clothes the armor like this and the the legs look really thin to me. Like I I kinda like it. Like that's I'd maybe make the thighs a little bit thicker. Um but I don't know how the rest of you guys feel about it. Um I was trying to like just kind of mess with it and make it look okay. Maybe I need to add another loop here. Thighs should be thicker for sure. Yeah, I agree. Damn it. Why is this? I already married the UVs and everything too. That's thick, thick thighs. That's what the audience is clamoring for. Uh, 
Let's just mirror this again. Also, I added, um, where's my mirror? Mirror. I added, um, another edge to the nose to get like a little bit more nose on them. Since we added some for the, the other two, I was like, I'm going to freaking give these guys a bit of a nose too. So that is, that has happened now, but this, the, for the record, this, this particular model is kind of like me just fiddling with stuff. Um, this is not, this hasn't been approved or anything like that right now. And I tried to push the legs closer together because part of it was um, part of it was, the, was that. If you grab both, you can you scale and change them both. Yeah, they were, uh, I don't know if they were aligned properly, but it's fine. I, I can easily mirror them again. But yeah, that actually looks a little bit better. I think, I guess it was the thighs that were too thin. Is that what, at least my particular style, I really like, I really like kind of a real, a pretty extreme taper when it comes to, the, when you get to the legs, like, you know, um, so I, that's kind of my default and I'm trying not to like go too crazy on that because, you know, it's not necessarily the style we're going for, per se. So anyway, um, I don't know what to do with this right now because um, I don't know if I should like move forward with it. Like, because I don't, I tried throwing it on the, um, the rig too and it like breaks because it, it's a little bit different. I think widen the hips, but then also widen back shoulders. Widen the back shoulders. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Uh... Not make his ass look big. I'm about to just add a freaking thing right here. I have one here, I think, actually, before, and I got rid of it, because it's crazy to have one there. Got a whole ass. Yeah, it gets weird. There's a lot of weird topology going on there I don't really like. I've got baby, baby got back stuck in my head now. <laughs> that looks, that looks better. That I think that helped for sure. Yeah. That looks better. I like it. Yeah. Yes.
basically I, th I think taking the whole side of him then widening he's just a bit skinny I think actually but might be wrong it looks pretty good yeah like I don't know I, I don't because he was that was part of the problem that we had before was he was why he was like wide um he, part of it I guess it's also like that he's kind of undefined it was like kind of a boxy a weird boxy shape um I don't know how much I squished him down or not I think I, I definitely I definitely pushed in the waist a lot but I don't know I actually pushed out the shoulders a bit too I just kind of tried to create like more of an angle with the torso um like I can just like widen him overall but I don't think that's going to help um maybe a bit but I don't know I'm trying to trying to push in some stuff too to create like a bit of a Create that V, kind of. I don't know. Hi, guys. Hi, hi guys. You're hoping for a chonky, but you didn't get a chonky. I, I, there was, um, I grabbed another voice, voice line. Um, but it, it it was like when he was he was watching me get murdered by like a beetle or something. Um, there was like two lines that we were we were talking about in my last stream. Um, I I don't remember. I, I wrote them I wrote them down somewhere actually. It was like, I'm an ass man or I I'm pro ass, and. Uh, there's one other one. I'm pro ass and the whole a whole new world. I could I was trying to I was trying to find those. I couldn't find them. Um I eh, a couple a couple weeks have passed by this point, so it's gonna be harder to find because I don't remember exactly where those are, but yeah. I was gonna add those sound bites, but alas. Make it chunkier. Probably get rid of that. Right. Added like a um, little bit of something here to the face as well. There you go. It's got the chonky chin. Boom. Hmm. Hell yeah. Mm. Having the V-shapes still, maybe? Uh, let's undo that. Actually, I kind of like a little bit of that, to be honest with you. Um, but not as dramatic, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that actually... I don't know. Anyway. There, we don't have enough, like, topology around the mouth and stuff to really define differentiate the mouth from the chin and stuff like I can just push that in but it makes the mouth look weird and stuff so I don't know I guess I can do that it's something M uh, MC P live has the magic touch. <laughs> oh, he got it. That's the rumor. I'm a little worried about posting all of our streams as videos as much as it, it is basically an archive, even too shiny. We can't keep up with all these with these videos. Yeah, it's it's definitely a lot to keep track of what everyone's doing. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save this. This is like I said, this is um, this was just me toying around with it. This isn't necessarily the new model, although I was gonna like sh let you guys take a look and maybe if everybody agrees that it's an improvement, then because it, it sounds like we need to we need to change change the human a bit anyway either way um because there's some there's some feedback on it that he like like i said he's looking a bit uh looking a bit ooh so it's looking a bit like he's getting his his ass kicked or something i don't know Uh Okay, I'm gonna stop noodling. I'm I'm I've started to noodle, so let's go. Although I guess like I don't know how well I'll be able to save the human and animations and stuff but whatever we'll we'll roll with it it's fine it's cool everything's cool everything's good we're good everything's awesome um huge i don't like the these the stick ones so i always change it yeah i'll um I'll put it up somewhere as like a different version or something or something like that. Uh, or put it in it as like a, just a static game object or something somewhere. Um, uh, I need to put the skin on this guy. I uploaded that, um, that gnome, by the way, for you, Goblin. It should be up there now. Yeah. Gnome anim dot blend. Uh, human. What is this? That's face. Okay. Uh, so I think. What I want to do with this guy, uh, I messed those up. Oh, damn, it's only seven. So there was comments on the run, the sit, which the sit is kind of like a, I guess I could address that too, since it's not super involved, but I imagine I'm going to spend a lot of time just on the run tonight. Um, so basically what I want to do is the arm, the hands are too low. It's like, I'm going to make it look more, I want to make it look a little bit more, um, of kind of an urgent running, I guess. If that makes sense is because right now he's like very casual um i think i think that was kind of the gist of what um some of the feedback was whoa i don't remember the bone positioning on this is interesting is that going to cause issues that's so weird maybe Maybe I fucked up the um I guess that's yeah, I might have placed the the gnome bones in a bad spot then. I wonder if that 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 I wonder if I could solve the issue I was having with the um the gnome legs and stuff if I moved the bones. I'll have to try that next time. But anyway, so let's let's see what we got here. 
I'm gonna try that. That motion path there. Um. Or I, I guess what I want to do is just kind of check out all the. That one's good. I'm just kind of push some of this a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a professional animator, so. I do know about running, though. I did run in high school. So, and I did track and field and all that. So I kind of know that because, um, one thing that Sean was talking about was like having like the kicks higher or something. But like, I guess it, it doesn't matter um, so much for like, since it's a video game, but like realistically, that actually is a wasting energy. Typically what you, I think what you want to do is like, you once your foot is, you know, back there and there's no more, you know, power coming off it, you want to kind of snap it back in a straight line as much as you can because if you go like this that's wasted en energy you know that's not helping you go move forward so you know a normal like it's like kind of like this a piston kind of thing it's not like that's slower but that's just that's just you know my thoughts on on the thing and we don't it probably it's probably not very interesting to, to have that as the animation anyway but i just felt the need to mention that because i don't know uh you're not a professional animator you just play one on twitch exactly i'm not getting paid to do this i don't think i just don't want to get into sprint territory yeah i'm not i'm not going to do a sprint um i think if if we get to that point we should make a separate animation for that because like my concern is um like bard speed and stuff um maybe we can add a tran like a another tier of like sprints for i don't know a certain amount of speed or something i don't know well, that's something we'll we'll address when we get to that. I think like we can, that's something that's probably easy to add in later. Okay, dokey. Um Uh, there's like an kind of an uneven bounce to this as well and the it's happening on the ogre too which i haven't like i don't think i really did anything to the the forward run um but there's kind of like an uneven bounce um or like at least i've noticed when he's running the sound effect now that it's synced up to the feet it sounds ace like it's not symmetrical. Um, I don't know. I haven't dug into that, but it, this one kind of looks like something like that's happening as well. So I don't know. I'm sort of procrastinating as well. Cause I'm not entirely sure what uh, what to do here. Uh, I'm just gonna start with the arms. I think. Let's just move these farther up, basically, for now. We'll see. He so has this sprint, and I honestly hate the way it looks. No offense to ESO animators. 
Yeah, sprint like it can be um kind of weird. Looks like he's running to the bathroom. Uh that would be a sense of urgency. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't um You can't run with a full sprint when you're full of stuff like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, gotta be careful how you move when you're, um, okay. Yeah. And it, another cool thing about these, um, motion paths, it, it actually has the number of the frame that it, it's, that stuff's on. So. Um, that's actually frame one, which actually doesn't have the, the number on it, but you're not helping me out here actually right now, motion paths are kind of, uh, being a dick, really. And I need to copy this one now. Yeah, when people run, their arms come up a lot, um, like almost to their chest, basically. Yeah, clipping is a consideration. Speaking of, we have some weapon clipping with one of the casting anims. All good. So, um, yeah, there was like a bit of a debate on the whole, the, whether or not stuff is holstering like that. Um, did we come to a kind of conclusion with that? Because it sounded like there was people kind of, it sounded like people were voicing their opinions on it, but there was no, like, I didn't feel like we, we came to a resolution on it. Um, so I, I, I've been kind of rolling as, as I've said before, uh, I've been rolling along as if we are not holstering anything, you know, all out classic. So, um, this one is probably going to be up a little bit more too. Doing like a. I want to turn these guys off. I don't know, actually, I think that's the way basically all probably animate things as if they're holding a staff. Yeah, I mean, I'm not against holstering, but like I, my, my preference is kind of holding stuff. It's also like less work for us. Um, it's, it's less work and it's like more, cla like more classic or kind of an homage to have requests and all that. So it's looking better already. Oh, thanks dude. I, I, I'm finished, I guess. Stream is over. You know, so one of that actually reminds me, um, one of the, the voice clips that I grabbed from Sean was like, um, like I said, when he's watching me get murdered by that beetle and he says, and fade to black. And so I was thinking it'd be cool to have like, uh, like some sort of fake stream ending thing where I could push it and then just like all these alarms are going off and then the, the stream goes black and everyone's like, what the fuck just happened? But anyway. It's just a dumb thought.
Oh, I forgot to fix that other foot. Did that was that one always going farther back, or was that me? Did I did I do that and I forgot to change it? Cause I'm a dummy. Shit. I don't remember doing that. That's weird. Uh, that looks uh, awful. Copy. Paste. One of the things I was, when I was like doing, when I'm doing the runs and stuff, one of the things I do is I, I place my camera over here, this one, in kind of like a sort of a general idea of how it's going to look in game because it's really important to me that like we we'll, at least i like i mean I, what i liked in a game is when like the character looks okay from like because you're gonna be staring at his, his back like that a lot and like i think that's the angle that you want to make the run look decent from more like more so than others like it's yeah, anyway, that's 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 kind of my thought process behind um when I'm doing that. So, I think it looks pretty good. Like there there isn't too much that needs to change like that should change with this, I think. Um I'm just trying to make it less timid basically. Um is the notes that I got or I feel like we're getting Ooh. Oh, that, um, let's get rid of this one. Let's see what happens. Might need that. Ooh. What you doing to your toe there, buddy? That's not good. Hmm. Uh, squid pasta. How's it going? I think for a jog, um, the forearms and hands would be higher and closer to the chest. The elbows, not so swingy. Also a slight shoulder rotation per foot strike. I feel more natural. Also hips forward. Hips forward, as in, um, when you say hip forwards, are you meaning literally like just moving them forward on all of the stuff? See, that looks kind of a little bit better. Other than the arms. Yeah, that, that helped actually. Thanks. The arm is jacked up now because then he's extending too far, but. When people first start running, they tend to sit in the running situation. Yeah, the what's it called the the buckets the bucket seat, what it's called or something. It's been a while. You gotta say it with your chest, right? You probably um, probably want to rotate the hips a bit too, right? Um, and then counter counter rotate.
It's gonna be all bouncing around now. I need to probably tone some of that back or something. Oh, actually, this one. I kind of like this one better. Let's do this one. Paste. Turning the shoulders a bit with the arm that's moving forward as well with the hips. Yeah, um, definitely like rotation and and tilt and stuff. Um, but I'm I'm like not super great with moving multiple things like multiple axes at once. So um, my plan right now is to just kind of get it looking okay from like you know the hands moving forward and back and stuff right now and then once i'm comfortable with that i'll be able to move i could probably do the the shoulders forward and back to you but like in terms of like side to side i think um there's actually there's a bit of a sway here um i don't know i don't know how i feel about it yet um my arm is popping now what's what's going on there Copy. Paste. Different one. Uh, okay. Flip. I started using this the the epic pen thinger for, for animating because it helps kind of help me align stuff okay please Oh, well, I guess I'll leave that. That's probably fine. I was just looking at this, um, this line right here. It's kind of different from these other ones so i was like i wonder if i should fix that but uh it's probably okay for now yeah they, the the shoulders definitely will help i think um once i get to that point and this this was one of the rigs that doesn't have the pelvis um, pelvis bones. That's just this one in the center, which I'm afraid to do anything with yet. But I guess I could do it on the extremes. Let's just see. Hmm. Let's see it faster. This head wobble is a bit too much, I feel like. Uh, 
this thing. Bouncing around a lot there. You get a headache running like that. Are you a runner, Squid Pasta? Okay, let's let's turn this off real quick. I feel like his torso wouldn't be so static. Yeah, the the torso is definitely. Um, I haven't gotten that far yet, so there's there's it needs to move around a little bit more. I think. Um, the shoulders definitely will help a lot, I think, when we get to that. Yeah, I I want to get back into running, but I've been so so busy. Um, I haven't been able to figure out where in my schedule to work it in. Oh. I was not built for running. Nobody was built for running. It hurts. It hurts until you do it enough so that you it can ignore the pain. <laughs> there is no being built for, for running. It's also not that fun to get back into it. Yeah, I'm struggling with that myself. Yeah, seriously, dude, the conditioning is the worst part. But like once you're once you have actually like um gotten past that part uh and you you start getting those like robot um is this you know when you uh what's it called? Get the runner's high, you become a robot. It's it's nicer. Shin splints suck. Ah, dude, I had shin splints. Um, shin splints. Um, I had shin splints in in high school all the time, and I think it. Then at like when I, after like I, I tried to keep running after high school and all that, and I like invested in better shoes and I went to like a shoe place that they would actually watch you walk and kind of try to determine um, what sort of support and stuff you needed. And that seemed to help because I didn't, I don't remember getting, but I also didn't run as much as well. Like I just was doing it to try and stay in shape. So maybe that's also part of it. Is Hard to see what number this is. Is that six? Get over there, six. Oh shit.
when things click it's awesome no 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 dude my knee my knee makes like a clicking sort of sound when i go upstairs i hate it it's so it freaks me out every time like i can't i started walking upstairs like an old man or like a toddler because i just can't handle it it's not it's not necessarily painful it's just it, it's so unnerving can't do it I minorly re-aggravated my left one up skating, skateboarding a few months back. Still nagging, but it wasn't as bad as the first time. I couldn't walk downstairs with my feet facing forward. Yikes. It was bad. Uh, it was at that point I learned I could no longer <laughs> stretch before exercise. Could no longer no stretch before. No, I mean not physically. My right knee is a mess. Pops super loudly. Not stretch. Yeah. Yeah, I've always, like, I've never really stretched before either. Like, I, the way, at least the way I was taught, um, and I don't know if this is actually correct or not, um, just what I was taught uh, was that you know your your muscles need to be warm when you're stretching so we we always stretch like after the workout like after we we would run so I don't know I'm not a doctor or anything Yeah, definitely afterwards, I, I think makes sense. I don't know. Before, I could see it being a thing as well. Um, I think you maybe just be more careful because your muscles are cold. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, so. I don't know. Feel like these knees need to go up higher or something maybe i don't know because like it still looks weird it still looks like mm, i'm just i'm i'm kind of like I'm, I'm not paying too much attention to the torso right now i'm just looking at the arms and the legs and i think the arms are looking pretty good i'm liking sort of the motion that they're, they're doing but i'm not happy with the legs right now so i'm gonna try and move the knees up more uh, so let's do one of these guys. I should have done actually was circle that. Oops. 
actually going to move the thing forward to you. Because like what I'm what I'm looking at right now when I'm doing that is like this area right here and like kind of the depth um, of the legs when it's when he's running. If that makes sense. It's like if you if you um, look at this this bit here. I don't know because like if this. How's it? I don't know. It doesn't look as dynamic. Like, if this is as far as the foot goes forward, like, I don't know. It, I'm just trying to, I was just pushing the foot further forward and it looks a little, I don't know, it looks a little more interesting to me. It's very, it's very slight, I guess. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Everyone can hate it or whatever. Um, how does it look otherwise? I feel like he should be hunching a little bit though. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and just like do a whole thing. Let's, what, what the heck? Let's, some, some people were talking about like bringing it closer. You can do like pose by pose animation, I guess, and see how that, how that goes. It's not really my, my thing. Okay. Can you ask a, Animation question. Sure. Uh, I can try and answer it, but um, I don't know. Ask away. Yeah, it's mild stretchings to prevent sudden tearing and warm up workout. And then the stretch afterward is for mobility, I believe. But yeah, not a trainer or a doctor. Yeah, that, that makes sense, the way you describe it, Panis. That makes, um, I can see that. That seems reasonable. I'm just going to save all of this. Yeah, that definitely leaning forward help makes a difference. That, like, that as a pose, that looks pretty good, I guess. So let's see what we can do about his butts out. He would, um, would he do that? It's like pelvic thrusting now in the middle of his run. Nice. How does it work? The run cycle looks like 24 frames and it looks like there's seven frames. Does this program animate between? Yeah. Yeah, you, um, so you, you can, um, there are different, like, a bunch of settings you can set it to actually, um, which are more advanced than I'm capable of doing but so the way it works is you for each keyframe you select you kind of like set up the pose you want it to be in and then by default blender will interpolate between those two positions um and that's kind of the basics of it um and like i said there are there's like a graph editor 
which um, kind of has all the keyframes in there. Um, and you can kind of tweak how the that sort of transition happens. So like um, by default, it's kind of, I think it's just like a smooth curve, you know? Um, but if you want like more cartoony movements or something where like there's a, you know, an ease in and ease out of stuff or like kind of snapping or some sort of something or other. I think you can do that in the graph editor. Um, again, like, a, oh, look at that. Yeah, this is kind of the graph editor. Um, and like, if you wanted to, you could grab one of these somehow. I, I honestly don't know how this works. Um, but there's like, there's like these handles that you're supposed to be able to grab here like this. And you can like um, change the slope of the curve like this so that stuff happens kind of different, like different timing and stuff. Um, I don't know how to really master that. So I kind of stay the hell away from it. <laughs> but yeah, no, so that's, that's kind of how it works. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not an, like a pro animator. So there, there's like more advanced stuff that you can do that I don't know how to do. Um, I can get like some basic shit in there, but. Um, it's a less robotic feeling with ease in and ease out. You make small curves. Yeah, so cool. Dude, I don't even know what program you're using, lol, Blender. <laughs> I know now. Yeah, this is Blender. But I mean, um, that's, I think, like all, there's like the three major um, 3D packages. There's Maya, 3D Max, and Blender. And I know Maya is similar. I, d I don't know how Max does it. I'd, I'd imagine they have a, uh, Thing as well. Actually, I don't know because, like, usually animators go for Maya. Um, Pattis probably knows more about that. Hmm. Oops. Cinema 4D too. I'm not familiar with that one. I think I've heard of it, um, but I'm not really that familiar. Is that specifically for um, animation cinema? Or is that just a, another general, um, a general 3D package?
this um this weird wobbling needs to not happen anymore. I think it was Mac based originally, but it's an all purpose 3D application. The company that owns it, it is the one who bought out Pixel Logic. Oh, that sounds familiar. Hopefully, they don't ruin ZBrush. I'm going to be sad. Okay, so right now we have our little hip bone kind of going in a interesting shape here. I wonder if I want to move this out at all. if that helps anything. That looks kind of bad. I, I didn't even finish um, doing that leg thing, so I should go back to the leg thing. Right? Didn't I... Did I finish that? These aren't... Um, let's see. Something looks off. These knees don't have any path. What's going on with these knees? Yikes. He's all janky. Oh man. I don't know how how much progress I'll get um tonight on this. This is kind of a for me anyway, since I'm not like pro at this, it, it takes me a bit to kind of like get something Let's get rid of these. Um, oh, it's going weird because when it lands, it kind of changes direction there. So I, I might not have to worry about that so much. I don't know. can be easy to do with an audience too um i i find yeah i mean it's not the worst thing it's just a little weird sometimes i, I like when i'm trying to like because 
like I said, I'm not a pro at this and I'm, there's a lot of stuff I'm still figuring out or learning or whatever. So that part, it feels like when there's an audience, it's like, oh, they think I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. And you know, it's, to some extent you get, that would be correct. Um, so I don't know. Wonder if I should move the hips up when it does that or something. I don't know. I moved it back. I don't know. It's it, it can be weird sometimes though, because like especially when I'm tired, like I'm tired. I'm trying to figure this thing out. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's going on and everyone's yelling at me to make it chonkier. So I don't know, man. It's all good though. Yeah, I'm still glad we're doing it. Like, I'm. It doesn't make me want to stop. Hi guys. Holy shit! It freaked me out. <laughs> That's how you know I'm real tired when I look over and there's like a, another person like on on my my camera screen or whatever right next to me. I'm just like, holy shit! Someone behind me. What the fuck? So. Um, you got me. I've been gutted. I guess I don't need to select the keyframes because that seems to be going with of the, the things there. So, um, yeah, there's like a lot of weird kind of. paths going on here. I don't really know how best to uh basically what I'm I'm just trying to do is smooth stuff out it's just so it looks smooth. I know it's it's crazy to say but Um, I can't tell if I've, I've made improvements on this or not. Um, there's definitely some weirdness still happening. This is, this is the elbow, so I kind of want to bring this in maybe. Definitely bound like there's like a stutter there now. Wasn't there before. I think part of it is because um actually I, I fucked with the this guy. This one. Goodbye.
another one. Because I was fucking with the uh... up and down. So control R, Alt R. It's going to look really stiff for a second here, but um, I'm trying to like, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I'm going to save this as well. Ugh. It's pretty cool new things um, that I could show off. As kind of like a fun thing. Um, there wasn't any new stuff, was there? Update to database, Night Harbor, Unity, Barge Branch. Nothing, nothing. Did you see the? Um, I don't know if Nick's still here, but um, who's? Was, was that? Um, there's like a blood effect. Somewhere, blood VFX that was added the other day. Was that just that spell effect that you? Oh, dang! Is that the spell effect you just added? You like turned red, or is there like? Are just pe do people like bleed now when they get hit or something? Because that's what I thought, and I logged in. And I was like, oh, and then nothing happened. I was like, oh.
Some of the animation stuff is not fun to watch, I guess, when you're... At least for me, because I'm bad at it, but... So I apologize for that. Blood effect show, 100%. No need to apologize. This uh, may not be the most fun thing to witness, but it does shine a light on how much work goes into the game. Do I enjoy seeing the sausage being made? <laughs> yeah, I think um, I appreciate that because um, sometimes it's like, you know, people are always clamoring for the game to come out now and then they wonder why stuff's broken it's like dude this stuff takes time man can't have it right away and have it be done right you gotta pick one i'd rather wait for stuff um i i miss the days of when like a game would come out and it was done you know Um, I don't know, at least as a consumer, I don't like the waiting around for stuff to get fixed when I'm playing it and stuff. Before day one DLC. And I enjoy seeing stuff being created in Blender. My experience with it is quite limited. My wife, however, used it daily for work. Cool. What does she do? She, um... Uh, 3D artist. Uh, why is this? I need to add a motion thing to this. There we go. Look at that. Easy fix. Sort of. This, I feel like nothing's changed. <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, isn't this what I started off with? She's a 3D game artist. Nice. I've been hesitant to dig into Blender. Pro Builder 
on the other hand. Nice. Pro Builder looks cool. Um, I think it's really cool that it, you know, you can just work in engine there. That's, that's a cool thing. No, that's not what I wanted. Get out of here, motion paths. Oh. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know how these got messed up. But here we are. Wait a minute. How come they're like that? Whoa, that's weird. Man. Pro Builder is basically a watered down version of the four big 3D modeling apps. Yeah, it sure seems like it. Great for pro building, prototyping, and also learning how modeling works, but with limited tools. I learned 3DS Max when I was, when it was version 3.4.5, and I decided I wanted to do software development. And corporate software dev bores me. Been force feeding myself unity daily yeah it's hard um to to do other things like after your day job like that i know that feel why are these let's get rid of this um i don't understand why this is a weirdo knee is moving weirdly like that um for no reason am i crazy it's like moving by itself Look at that. The knee is moving. Is it the knee? What what is this right here? This shouldn't move, right? Oh bitch. Okay. You're killing me. I don't, I gotta keyframe all this shit now or something. Uh Bam. Uh. Looks like it's kind of staying there, though. More or less. I don't know. It's kind of going all over the place. This is this is uh, this is a whole thing, man. Um. I have learned and forgotten Max many times over the past seventeen years or so. I I haven't gotten into Max yet. It. It seems like um, 
from from my limited knowledge of it, it's kind of like Blender in a way. Um, so maybe I could pick it up um, fairly quickly or something. People say they like it for modeling. Um, but I mean, if Blender is like Max in, in, that, in that capacity, if I could just do it in Blender, I guess. Ah, oh, God, why is this? This foot is moving too as well, though. That's probably not helping things. I kind of want to just like grab everything and start over um, at this point. Um, well, I'm going to save this. Save this one. I might just, I might just do that. Like, seeing as how it's, it's late and I'm starting to fade already. Um, and I'm looking at maybe starting this thing over or, or something. Um, but Maybe I'll just, I'll kind of shovel off. All right, yeah. So, well, Pattis is leaving. Pattis is headed to bed, so I, I got to go. That's a clear example, or clear, clear path, course of action. See you, Pattis. I'll catch you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I guess maybe I'll, I'll kind of stop here and... Uh, do my little spiel. Um, you guys, I think most of you guys already know what what the deal is here. I'm gonna um, do the the stuff there. Um, this, this animation, this lovely animation, is for our game Monsters and Memories. Uh, you can learn more about it at the, our website, MonstersandMemories.com. Um, and I made a, I finally made a thing, a command for the other streamers, because the rest of the team streams. Now there's a link um, for Sean, uh, Goblin, Nick. Nick said he's going to start streaming again soon, next week maybe, I think he said. Pattis and Ollie, who's out of town for a bit still, it sounds like. Um, yeah, so this a lot of the team um we're all working on this kind of from different parts of the world, so we interact through the stream just as much as you guys do, I think, with each other. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um as always, Squid Pasta, it's it's always great to have people um you know, take taking a look at stuff and um you know, someone to chat with and, and all that stuff. And before I go, you know, I just gotta, I gotta click on the wrong, the wrong damn button, apparently. And I just noticed that that like shows my background now. I need to, I need to fix that too. Um, I meant to, I meant to turn myself into a skeleton. That's what I meant to do. Um, but I shrunk myself, so. Um, but I also discovered a bug, so that was great. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks again for hanging out and good night.